Hello and welcome to sunny Rochester for the biggest circuit race of the year. This really is the pinnacle of criterion racing here in the UK. It is time, of course, for the British National Circuit Race Championships to get underway very, very shortly. Now, each and every rider is going to be battling for that top spot tonight. But of course, there is the chance at stake to wear those coveted national stripes. But before we get to all of that and tonight's race action, let's remind ourselves of everything that unfolded last year in Stockton on Tees. A brilliant result there for Anna Henderson. Can she do it again and retain that national strike jersey for yet another year? Well, as you can see, the riders are on the line behind me now. We'll find out very shortly. But for first, let's take a look at our host venue of Rochester. Medway City of Rochester is the home of the National Circuit Championships for 2019. The 1.6 kilometre circuit passes the monumental medieval Rochester Castle, one of the many landmarks of the city's rich historical background. Alongside Rochester Cathedral and the neighbouring Chatham Dockyard, the iconic cobbled streets were a favourite of Charles Dickens, who used the city as a heavy influence for much of his work. Medway history also stretches into the world of cycling, having previously hosted a stage of the Tour de France back in 2007, and since then the city has built up its cycling culture massively, now providing over 70 miles of on- and off-road cycling routes for everyone to enjoy. From Rochester's impressive landmarks to the iconic cobbles and vicious corners, this circuit will really put the riders to the test this weekend, and it is safe to say that we all have great expectations for this race. And Anna Henderson joins me now, of course, the defending champion coming into tonight. I know you're very focused, but firstly, what did it mean to take it last year? I said to you before, I need to call it a better answer to this, but yeah, it was really awesome. It was really, really cool to wear the stripes for the year, and yeah, hopefully we'll do it again tonight. How are you feeling uh, ahead of tonight's action? Yeah, feeling pretty good. Had a big training block off the back, back of Nationals, so yeah, good coming into this. Right, good luck. I'm going to let you all focus and get out of the way, most importantly. Let's head to the commentary box. Here we have a little look at the circuit we've got tonight. It's a really, really nice circuit. It's a technical, a bit of a climb as well. So we start off in the Esplanade, down the front at Rochester, round the castle, up that small climb up round the back of the castle. We've got a combination of different road surfaces as well again tonight. Unfortunately, it's nice and dry. We've got a really, really fast, fast flowing descent through the city centre. And this last corner here, Hannah, we spoke about it before we looked at the preview. It's a very, very tricky corner. It's super fast. But we spoke already about, obviously, it's nice and dry. No issues there, but obviously there's there's cobblestones, there is uh, short climbs, there's hairpins, there's a lot in this circuit. It's really interesting, but it's also, I think it's quite a nice circuit. Yeah, it looks quite a nice one, and it's something a bit different. I don't think any of these riders in the, neither the women's or men's field will have ever ridden here before, so it's nice to have. No one knows, uh, you know, it's kind of the same for everyone um, as we get underway. Yeah, we now look down there. Previous winners, obviously Anna Henderson, we spoke to her just moments ago on the start line. She's uh, came off a bit of a rich vein of form, been racing with the Team GB over in uh, the Tour of Brittany. Got a few podiums up there as well, so she's going to come into this, I think, with, with legs of steel, to be honest with you. Yeah, definitely, and then she went into the European Games uh, in Minsk, uh, where she had a fantastic ride as well, and then she went into the National Championships, where she um, podiumed in the, the senior elite race. Um, but we've not seen a race for a couple of weeks on the British scene, um, she was saying earlier that she's raced out in Europe, maybe doing a few commesses in mm. Belgium. So good definitely prep. perfect prep. Form will be very, very good. And, you know, that she'll have that speed and zip into her legs. Yeah, and up there in the top left-hand corner of your screen, we've got a little selection of the five riders. We're kind of thinking who are going to be the main protagonist. We obviously got Anna Henderson, who's the current champion. Bex Durrell, who is her teammate from Brother UK to Fosse, powered by on form, who actually won the last round just Friday. 48 hours ago in Barnsley, pretty um, impressive riding by that team on the whole, but 
in the centre of the, the screen there, we've got Lizzie, back, uh, Liz, Lizzie Bennett, who's obviously trying to make up from the fact that she had an awful round in Barnsley, but obviously she lost the National Series overall, but it went straight to her teammate, Joe Tinley, who has also been in electric form all year. Yeah, definitely. So, you know, it was very unfortunate for Lizzie Bennett on Friday night. However, you know, that will be fuel, fuel for the fire. Yeah. The fact that she had, you know, a real disappointment. It was nothing to do with her or her legs or her form. It's just, you know, mechanical things. These things happen. Um, and she'll definitely be want to be on top of the game tonight. Yeah. It's going to be an interesting battle, I think, between two really, really powerful teams tonight. We're going to be looking at, obviously, Brother UK to force a team, but also Villa Performance companies. They have been all over this as well. It's been basically those two teams going at it for every single round, but we've also got head up our sleeve, so be Langford. Yeah, definitely, it's kind of been head and head between those two teams, and um, every round, uh, Brother UK Tifosi have had a stronger and, and bit larger team, whereas uh, Vela Performance, the team of uh, Lizzie Bennett and, and Joe Tinley, who we were just speaking about, they've always come with three riders, yet still been able to, um, you know, pick, put a fight up to, or a little bit of a correction there, going around that corner. Yeah, this is this is the final corner we spoke about just when we were looking at our preview map, and you can see already we're not even really started the race as proper yet, but... Right away, there's a, a few gaps, and this race is not taking very long to go into one big straight line. As we now take this sweeping left hand, little touch here on the brakes, up to this little climb. You want to hit this with the right kind of speed, and more importantly, you want to hit this little climb in the right gear, in Hannah. Yeah, it's uh, worth noting, this is Anna Henderson, the reigning champion. So she wanted to defend that title today. She's the one setting the pace and stringing this out right from the get-go. Um, racing it from the front. Racing it from the front. She's got four teammates uh, three teammates in a wheel so and then followed directly behind is Vela Performance. Yep, the two main teams, the two main protagonists will be going head to head all season long now, covering each other. You can see there's little, little gaps happening already in the back of that group. This race tonight will be taking over 50 minutes plus five laps, so it's going to be interesting to see just what it's going to be like in, you know, after 10, 15 minutes around this circuit. It is a brutal circuit. We've got predominantly quite a, it's ultimately up a hill and down a hill, but with that becomes a lot of technicalities. Technical uphills, we've got technical downhills. Yeah. Change the surface, all the usual stuff we expect to see, but we can see it's, it's a great course. There's lots of racing can be done on here with the odd speed bump there, but no, lots of racing can be done on this and circuit. And you can see already that it's, it's split. So we're split into two, uh, two groups already. First group of around eight or nine riders. Um, and if you don't get back to this group now, it's kind of, this is it, your race is over after two laps. Um, the riders have got to contend with 11 corners, so uh, mainly left-handers actually. Um, and then there's two chicanes, which um, they have to deal with. One is actually on the downhill into the finish before the, the final left-hander. Um, but then there is, you know, good length of straights as well, which you know you can yeah. certainly pick your speed up and uh, move up as well. Because it, you know when corners are really tight and technical, it's really difficult to overtake your opponents. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's definitely a course where, as I've said already, you can do a lot of racing on. There's lots of options for attacking, but more important, there's lots of options to sustain those attacks. You're not overly interrupted by lots of changes of direction. As you hear the take as left hand, as we now see the Castle and Rochester in the background, they'll take another right-hander, and there's another, well, well I think tonight's going to be one of the most important parts of this circuit. Right now, it's very dominant performance here from uh, Brother UK to Fosse. Powered by on form, two of the best circuit racers in the UK right now. Showing everybody a nice clean pair of wheels as they take that real dead left hander onto the city centre clinkers. And now as you can see, if they just look over the shoulder, their teammates just trying to scuttle their way back onto that little group. Interesting to me that actually uh, Charmaine Porter is dragging the, the rider from Live Cycling Club back to, to the leading two. Um, she must feel confident that, you know, when we get to the end, that she'll be able to sort of out sprint her or out outwit her. Um, but to me, I'd force the rider from Live. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, to come round it and actually close that gap. Absolutely, but then it comes a lot with the confidence in knowing the rider as well. If, they've, if, if you're confident with them technically, but also if you're confident with them from a physical point of view as well, is that do you trust them to be in front of you sometimes in circuits like this? Because we've got to remember, less than 10 minutes racing done, there's a lot of people still trying to jangle out the, the nerves. And just as they were getting themselves together, it looks now that one of the riders has clashed. More we've importantly, though, it's a, it's a rider from that team who was there to potentially help bring back this little group. But... They're now down, it looked like Joe Tinley's ultimately ended up being solo there, which is not really the place she wants to be right now. She wants to have the, the numbers there to help her around. And as we can see, just climbing back out of the bike there. If you look at the distance, you can see Joe Tinley just rolling across the finishing line in the distance there. And that's created a massive gap in that group and just so much more disorganisation. After all the work she's just done to try and chase back to get to her, um, with Alicia Speak from her team LDN coming down there, it's totally disrupted the, the rhythm of the chasing group. Um, 
So yeah, not ideal for Joe, and it just means that these leaders have gained even more time. They've actually dropped Charmaine Porter and Elon mm -hmm. King, and now it's Bex Doyle and uh, Anna Henderson going to the line. It's an impressive show of force, isn't it, Hannah? Just seen these two riders, but we knew this was going to happen. They were in our pick for the top five riders to be up and in about it at the point of the end today. And I tell you what, they're not letting us down, are they? No, they're doing a superb job. Um, you know, teamwork to its finest. Um, but actually, you know, is it Ellen King's coming across on her own. Looking very strong. Actually, Bex Durrell isn't looking particularly comfortable in the wheel of Anna Henderson. You just see she's got that dropped head look. Doesn't look too too good on the bike like we're used to seeing her. Yeah. But Elon King, yeah, doing a great job to uh, jump across on her own. Now, this is the man who's very focused here because he's looking after the Tifosi Brother UK, powered by on form riders. Of course, two of his riders out front now. It's looking very good for Anna and Bex there. What's the time gap now? Um, it's about 50 seconds to the lead group. And then behind um, Charmaine and Gabby, we're looking at about another sort of 30 to 40 seconds now. So going really well. Did you expect it to play out like this uh, as a state of play on the road by this point? Can I say yes? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, obviously, you know, the two up front, super talented, especially on a technical circuit like tonight. Both got really good form at the moment. Um, so, yeah, all going according to plan. And so much talent in the team. I'm going to let you focus because I know you need to communicate here. Um, let's head back to the guys in commentary. All going according to plan by the sounds of it there, Hannah, and it's going to be interesting to see what the plan is going to be like in the last couple of laps when these two have to decide who is actually going to take this win. This has been a fantastic effort by these two riders by Brother Tafosi. Absolutely dominant tonight, but can they get the one, two, three? This is the question. You know, the gap's still around, hovering around one minute, just over one minute to that uh, next group. As we see now, the five laps to go board has been shown to the two leaders, Henderson and Durrell. And now the fun begins, this, Hannah. This is where the fight begins, yeah. Yep. How's it going to go? You know, is it. Have they been told in their team meeting, you know, sort of race your own race? Bex Durrell there, in going in a big, big see, game, this very is what struggling. We spoke this about. is not great for Durrell. It's a little effort she's having to make, but you know what? You don't want to be having to make that kind of effort with this sort of distance left to go in the race. And it just takes two or three times doing that. And it's quite, I, I'm surprised that Bex doing that, unless she's actually having a technical issue with her gears, but looks she's like usually she's, very, very switched on. Yeah, it looked a little bit like she was having a bit of a problem. Like she was just, with her right hand, she was really pushing her elbow out to, to sort of push and shift over. She looks like she's in quite a big gear, halfway down the block. She's just messing around with something, but that was not ideal for Bex, especially in these closing, uh, closing laps. Something's not right, in my opinion, on her bike. We'll find out next time we're in that lap. So next time we're in, it'll be four laps to go in this HSBC UK British Cycling National Circuit Championships here in the beautiful town of Rochester. This has been a, a, a great race and a, and a dominant race by these two riders tonight, hasn't it? As we now look back at the chase group, the rider on the front for me tonight, Hannah, has been the rider of the race. Young Ellen King, not being scared of the dominance of Tifosi brother. She's surrounded by them left, right and centre. You know what, but she's still willing to take the fight to them. Yeah, definitely, and uh, really hoping she can take that bronze medal tonight. But, you know, whatever happens at the end of the night, she's had a fantastic ride. Uh, probably the ride of her young career, actually, um, and she should be should be very happy. But, you know, she's not been scared. She's not been uh, under pressure that she's been surrounded by the likes of Brother UK Tafosi. This has been pretty much what you've been watching for the last best part of 40 minutes, folks. These two riders off the front, Bex Durrell, along with her teammate, the current national champion, reigning champion. Can she take it for two years on the bounce? Anna Henderson, both from Brother Tifosi, being quickly chased here by another two teammates from Brother Tifosi. That's Charmaine Porter and Gabby Shaw, along with Ellen King from Live Cycle Club, who I'm being tamed. Bex Darrell, they just had a little nervous look over her left hand shoulder there just to see again if she can get any inkling of how her teammate Anna Henderson is going. But I tell you what, there is nothing being given away there by Henderson. We've now got two laps to go. Who's going to take this HSBC UK British Cycling National Circuit Race Championship? It's going to be a tough one to call this, to be honest with you, Hannah. We've, we've spoke about it already. But you know what? So far, so good. They're keeping it together. It may just be literally a straight out sprint. Yeah. We could Which for me, that. I mean, you know, 
Henderson, you can see she's up for it. She got rid of a bottle. She doesn't need that extra little bit of weight on her mm -hmm. bike. Um, to Even take if it's just a psychological, you know, a little, little boost psychologically, just thinking you can less weight on your bike, etc. So she's obviously thinking about the win. Yeah. Given that little move she just did, so but look still at looking so smooth. Composure yep. on her face, you know, she doesn't look like she's, you know, putting any effort out whatsoever, looking so comfortable. Bextor flicks her out. Uh, Henderson hasn't come through. Yep, it's starting she's now. She's looking behind, and, and you know, Bextor, you know, she, she's eagerly wanting Henderson to come through. Henderson's not playing the game. Nope. I wouldn't be surprised to see Anna Henderson make a move in this next lap, to be honest with you. I was going to think she was maybe potentially going to hit out there in at these last couple of corners and try and get a gap on this little kicker, but it could be literally into that little hairpin. She knows that her teammates have having issues with her, with her front mech. She's seen her go every lap for the last two or three laps, take it in the big ring. Well, Henderson this time, leave it in the big ring and absolutely hit it up that little kicker. Yeah. She's definitely got something up her sleeve because both riders have become very, very cagey, both kind of watching each other. It's kind of, this is where the tactics are really being played out now. Both teammates, but this is an individual championship. You know, who is going to take this uh, coveted national title? Thank Henderson you. leads it down this uh, descent into the left-hander onto the finishing straight. They'll see one lap to go this time. Yep, penultimate lap now in this HSBC UK. British Cycling National Circuit Race Championship. And as we can see, the two riders now, they have been friends, they have been teammates for the last best part of an hour. But now, Hannah, absolutely sworn enemies. You just saw Henderson almost sort of like break a little bit, get out of the saddle. She flicked her elbow, wanted Bex Doral to come through, but Bex wasn't having any of it. She wanted Bex to lead up this climb. And I think what you were saying before, I think Henderson wanted to attack Doral from the back yep. to get a, get a lead. But Doral, you know, very smart to it. She wants to lead, go from the back and then watch what Henderson's doing. She doesn't want to take, be surprised by Henderson. She wants to get the surprise on Henderson. Absolutely, and it's, it's, it's the perfect tactic here for Doral. She has to keep Henderson looking over her shoulder, keep her nervous and then unleash that massive almighty spin that she's got in that last home strip. And for me, Darrell's in the perfect position. They've got still over a minute, about a minute 10 gap to uh, the, the riders racing for bronze. So they have got time in this lap to uh, muck around, mess around a little bit, look at each other, you know, play, the, play the cat and mouse game. But for me, I was going to say, Beck should have stayed at the back because now she's got to look behind and ride from the front. I've got um, a feeling Hannah's going to go just before we get through the town centre, just before we go over the speed bumps and then up that little kicker just past the castle because for me, she's oozing that bit. She's a little bit nervous. She knows that she's the national champion. She wants to take that jersey home tonight. She wants to keep that on her shoulders. And you know, when you're the champion, You've not lost your championship till someone wrestles it out your hands and you st with one lap to go, she is still national champion. She's not going to give this up without a fight, is she? Yeah, you just took the words out of my mouth. I was just going to say, she's not going to give it up. She's going to, you know, fight all the way to the line. Durrell constantly looking over her shoulder. You know, for the whole race, they've not looked over the shoulder hardly at all. They've just, you know, head down, you know, full gas throughout throughout the course. Now, Durrell constantly looking behind. She needs to keep tight to the barriers so that Henderson doesn't have two options to go around it. She only has one option to, to get around it. So she only has to look around one side of her of her body. And she takes this left-hander now. Last time. This is where this I think one. Anna's got to take an opportunity to have a go, to be honest with you. Hen you know, whoever wants to win this, they need to lead down that descent in first position. You can't be coming around from the back because, you know, although it's around 100 metres from that last left-hander to the finishing line, it's very, very the fast. So you're going to carry really all nervous. the speed. She, see, she knows that Henderson's potentially going to try and jump out of this corner, so she's picking the speed back up. This is going to be down to the wire, folks. This is a great last lap here in this national championship. There's only around 40 seconds left of this championship. But can Bex hold on? She knows that she has to lead it and be on the front until she gets to that downhill. She's because Henderson's be not going to be able to come round her. She needs to be careful. She doesn't gas herself out too much because this is a little leg sapper now as Bex Darrell knows that she has to be the first rider. Over the brow of this hill, she just puts a slight gap in her teammate Anna Henderson. A look over the shoulder, but don't get too comfortable, Beck. She's still got to take this final corner as she sweeps out the home straight. Anna Henderson straight back on the wheel. It's going to be a mega two up sprint here. Who's going to take this? Beck Starrell from the front. Anna Henderson. It looks like Beck Starrell is going to take it. What a ride. Awesome there. Beck Starrell is your British Cycling National Circuit Race champion. Pat on the back from her teammate there. Great to see the race that absolutely down to the wire there, Hannah. That's brilliant to see. But let's we want to really see what's happening for the bronze medal because we've got another two riders from Brother to Fosse. Gabby Shaw, it looks like they're going to get a clean sweep here. One, two, three, and four for Brother UK to Fosse. 
tight sprint there. Fantastic racing. Gabby Shaw sneaks out of the bottom of that podium. Brilliant team tactics tonight. We had a bit of a joke about it before the show started, Hannah. Could Brother Tifosi get one, two, three and clean sweep that podium? And you know what? We were they right. just went away and done it. <laughs> I'm off the win, I can't believe it. I was just saying to Anna, it's a shame both of us couldn't have won because it was just, yeah, a bit of a battle between us two. Um, it kind of came down to a bit of a, like, a bit of a track sprint at the end there, but yeah, I just can't believe it. I'm so happy. Was there much communication between the two of you out there or was it just, it's always going to come down to the line? No, we didn't need to. I mean, we're teammates. We know each other really well. We know each other's strengths and weaknesses. So uh, in a way, it made it a bit harder because we were having to kind of bluff a bit. Um, but yeah, in the end, it just came down to, yeah, who could kind of sustain it the longest, I guess. We knew the form you were in coming into this race. We've seen it across the season so far, but did you expect to be that dominant, to have that much of a gap and, and lap so many of the field? Um, no. I mean, I was a bit concerned I'd be tired from the other night at Barnsley, but I think a lot of it is just having the belief, uh, the confidence. I've got such a good family and support network that, you know, sometimes you want to give back to them with the results. So I always had that in the back of my mind and going into the last lap, I was just thinking about that and it just gave me that extra little boost I needed. Thanks, huge congratulations from all of us. We're going to let you get to that podium and celebrate. Thank you. Thank you. And there we see the winner of the National Circuit Race Championship, Bexter L. A lot of relief, you can tell just by her post-race interview that she's so relieved to A, get it in the bag, but B, get it over and done with. As she said, she wasn't overly confident about her form, especially after Barnsley. So there we have it. There's our first 10, folks. Rebecca Durrell from her teammate, Anna Henderson, and from her other teammate, Gabriella Shaw. And then, and then we continue. Four. Yes, Charmaine Porter, obviously in fourth place. But for me, the ride of the night was from young Ellen King. She done a fantastic ride, Hannah. We need to really, really focus in on that because she was up against it tonight. What a brilliant result for Beck Starrell and indeed actually dominance from the whole team on the podium there. Fantastic to see that fight out there tonight. And um, that's all we've got time for here at the Women's Race. From all of us here in Rochester, bye-bye. We'll see you next year.